to the tea table. It is our second day of looking at decks from the upcoming Lost Origin expansion. And today we're going to look at one that I know people are excited for. Um, it's been hyped for a while because it's been out for a while in Japan. And that's going to be a Sweden RK9. So before we get into the deck list, uh, we're talking about kind of the history of this kind of deck. So um, the Sweden RK9, its attack does a lot of damage if you have no cards in your hand. And you're like, oh, that's really hard to do. Well, it's not, like, super hard to do. But it brings back a fan favorite um, card, the memory of it. This Gramble here um, from Lost Thunder, which did 160 um, for one energy if you had no cards in your hand. And also, that's a fairy-type Pokemon, for those of you who are new and might not be sure what that is. That is a fairy Pokemon. Once, many moons ago, we had fairy Pokemon. Two, two years. But... So, um, it's like the same thing, people are really excited, so we're going to jump into the deck list and see what makes this version even more powerful. So we got the Growlithe and Arcanine here, you see the, first of all, the great trainer gallery art, I love that they do that. So, Growlithe burns them for zero, that's cool, that's neat. And then we got a Sweet Arcanine, 130 HP, for zero energy now. If you have no cards in your hand, it does 160, and then Sharp Fangs for 100, which we will never ever use. So, the whole idea behind the deck is you're going to have to discard your hand, which we do have the ability to, but then you still got to, like, draw cards to do things next turn, and it's like a weird cycle, and I was looking at deck list while building this, and they're, like, the same, but then the trainers are different, because a lot of them don't use a lot of quote-unquote draw cards, because you got to discard your hands. It's, it's like a complicated, simple strategy, um... And it's definitely a deck that I think late game, you're going to have to think, or you're going to have to save your resources to be able to discard, and you might just have to play cards just to play them for no effect. It's going to be super interesting to see how this deck plays out, but I'm really excited for it. Also, before we do move on to the rest of the Pokemon, um, I do want to give a shout out to Twitter user Uncertified Fire because I tweeted about the videos I'm coming out with, and they let me know that there are Sween Growlithe sleeves, so if you head over to my Twitter there, and you go look at the post and look at the comments and look at their posts and their sleeves. That's amazing. Those sleeves alone just want to make me play. So shout out to Uncertified Fire on Twitter for that one. Thank you very much. All right, so moving on with the deck. So we got 4-4 four, four, Zorark. All right, Zorark. We're like five sets into you being insane. Is it time? It's not in this deck. You're just a support character. I'm sorry. But Zorark, um, you got Zora 32. That's cool. We got Zorak's ability. You can trade it with a stage one from your discard pile. So that is pretty cool. So it is ability to get your um, RK9 out. Or we do have three stage ones we do not play the basic for. We got Mighty Enna, which does a lot of damage, as you can see, if they are a VMAX. So that is, or if there's a VMAX play, so that's pretty cool. It's mostly from you um to you know help knock that out easier as uh my name is dark and that is what Mew's weak to we got alteria as you saw in my other video put a support on top of your deck so then you get to draw it uh, as you see with the babero we will talk about in a second also it's free retreat guys really cool and we got slow from pokemon go staring off into the distance just looking you know ponder life that's what i do on sundays i sit there ponder life but i do not have um, a beach to go to sadly but its attack says, if your opponent has only one prize remaining, um, you you get to take two. So, with this being a one prize deck, they literally have to knock out five Pokemon, and you uh, you get to knock out two Vs, and maybe you're slowing down a little bit, and you're just like, well, I need a way to win this turn. You bop them. Even in a single prize matchup, if you get behind two to one, that's okay. Because, uh... You just take two prize cards, and it could win the game. You're really going to only use this card if you're going to win the game. So if you're not going to win the game, you pro probably don't use it. Unless you're memeing and just having a good time. Whatever. It also does 20 for one, and both actives are confused in... Or I'm sorry, both are asleep in true slow both fashion. Then we got the 2-2 two -two barrel line, so you can put the supporter on top with the Altaria. Draw it with the barrel. Pretty sick. That is a world championship winning card right there. Badoof the barrel in the world's winning deck. Those will be coming soon. Uh, to source probably end of the year so you can get that get your world championship a barrel life is good we ran into the pokemon with radiant venusaur so this is the radiant we chose for the deck um 
this activates after you attack, so it's very key because you have to have no cards in your hand. You draw until you have four. So, um, it does help you get going. I debated if I wanted it because I got a barrel. I'm like, what if I don't I don't have a chance to get a barrel out? I can get Rainy Venusaur, draw to four, use, and then hopefully you'll have the resources to discard because you see a lot of our cards just work. <clears throat> so, it'll be interesting to see there. And then we've got the one Galarian Meowth, discard two cards. We don't play the Berserker to evolve it. But that is okay. It's just to get cards out of your hand. Or like discard money and Altaria to put them back in play. So we're going to move on to the trainers. We got four quick ball. Discard, get a basic. Four ultra ball, discard two, get a Pokemon. Easy money there. Get everything out. Three level ball. As we do have four, eight, ten, eleven, twelve Pokemon with 90 HP or less in our deck. So we want to get those out really quick. Most are going to use it to get a Growlithe. Zora and or Bidoof really early to get you set up for turn two. We got the four evolution incense to go with all the evolution Pokemon. We got four, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of those. <clears throat> so you're gonna want that. Also just a free burnable card. We got four Pokemon catcher, because most of your support is gonna be used on something else. So just flip those heads, people. It's that easy. Then we got the supporters. Uh, there's so many of them. We got four Peony. Discard your hand, search for two trainers. So you can't you can't have a hand. That's what Peony's for. So, um, a lot of your turns might have Peony. It's really weird. There's no battle VIP pass because you don't want to draw that after turn one because you literally can't play it. So, Peony, really good. Get you set up. Um, turn one, two level balls, perhaps. I was thinking about maybe a Snorlax to draw to seven. But again, it might go kind of against strategy. Plus, I got to be able to get it out of there. A lot of ways to go with this deck. Um, then we got one Grant. You do not play Fighting Pokemon, but that is okay. Because Grant's ability says if it's in your discard pile, um, discard two cards from your hand. So let's say your hand is like, you can't quite get there. You, you, like you're, you may not have a barrel, and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. You got like Quick Ball, other card, other card that, you know, like you want to play an ordinary Rob, but you don't have a Pokemon in your discard pile, or you ha you have an energy and you attached, you know, you, you can't do again. So you put Grant back in your hand, and then discard Grant with Quick Ball, and you're back. So, really cool, not a lot of sports, but we do have a pal pad to be able to recycle most of the peony. So, once the grand senior disc, probably you don't have to worry about it. Uh, sometimes you're just going to peony to discard whatever, get attacking. Remember, your opponent's got knocked out six of your Pokemon. And when you're hitting for 160 plus, um, that's pretty good. A lot of pressure on them for the zero energy. <clears throat> we got a two ordinary right. Obviously, there's no basic energy, but put two Pokemon back. Mostly uh, the Arcane Eye line really is what you're going to be putting back in your deck. Some Growlithe. Perhaps, maybe even if, like, Venusaur gets knocked out. Um, or if you decide, like, your opponent's going after a bear a lot and you need the, you know, Meowth, because um, you're not able to draw, so you have to be able to discard things because you can't draw into other things to discard. Pretty much just there for that. We have the one scoop of night because you never want to have to pick up something, aka Venusaur. You don't want it to get stuck active. Also, you might, like, you know, some weird combos later. <clears throat> you might just have to pick it up. You never know. Then we got the one escape rope. We both got a switch just to get their cheap knockout because a lot of times um, opponents bring up, you know, attack here. They're like, well, I got to hit something on the bench and I can't get heads of Pokemon Catcher. You escape rope in there and get them. Or if they are they bring up a Pokemon to sacrifice for a turn and like their attacker's on the bench and you can escape rope and attack the bench. We got two choice belt here. I didn't know if you needed two or one. It's like weird because you're kind of two shot and everything anyway. That's not like a Chromat V. So I wasn't sure if that's right, or I don't know. That's, but two just kind of seems standard to start with. So definitely a card you can edit there, and then one air balloon to retreat. Uh, most a bunch of Pokemon, the barrel, the rock if you have to, uh, Meowth, you know all that stuff. And we round out with two capture to actually get a basic and the two twin energy for your Slowbro. So this deck is super sweet. Um, I've seen decks, versions that just play no energy, but I think a slow board might be worth it. <clears throat> Definitely a thing to test for sure. Um, most of them are kind of built like this. I've seen different, like, engines. With, I saw one with Inteleon in Arcana. I was like, that's crazy. But the Zorak is really cool because it lets you have other backup things to help your strategy keep going. And attackers. Um, I've seen one with, what you're going to see here. A sweet and Zorak just knocks him out at the end next turn. Why not? People have been playing one of those. Takes no energy, so... That's a card to mess around with as well. So this was Sweet and RK9. I'm Josh Shatter. This was the T-Table. Let me know what you think below. Like, subscribe. Almost at 200 subscribers. 
And I will see you next time with Gudra Vistar here on the tea table.